Hey guys, so this is a pretty random video. I can't say really upload on this channel much at all, but um, we'll see if anyone's interested in this and maybe I can make like a little video on how to do it or um, something like that, I'm not sure. But here is a look at my Windows XP theme for Windows 10 anyway. Took a little bit of work to get everything right, but more or less it's looking pretty good. So as you can see, it's got the um, the window menu from XP, the close, minimize, maximize buttons here. Um, they're all XP themed. Um, you go down to my taskbar and I've got the classic start menu and it's even got the classic icons, Windows XP icons. So that's all been themed in the giant programs menu that we all remember. I actually really like it. <laughs> it's quick and easy. Um, so I've got that and yeah, it's pretty much a, as full of a theme as I could possibly do. Like I couldn't find all the icons, but I replaced as much as I could. Like for instance, there's no desktop icon. Um, Windows XP didn't have like a desktop icon or button, I don't think, as far as I'm aware. So I just used something else anyway that was included with the, with the XP's icon set. Um, I think some of the icons are even from like Windows 2000 or Windows ME, like some of them are real old and they're just sort of still there. Um, so I used, so how did I do this? Well, it all started with using a tool called Ultra UX Theme Patcher or something like that. Um, and I used that and it patches your operating system so that you can install these different themes. And after that, XP themes for Windows 10, I used this one here themes for 10 build this one my computer's newer than that as you can see this was like made 2016 or something um so this is way out of date we're in 2021 um but that said it still seemed to work and you can choose different colors i went with the default lunar theme simply because um this here um this whole taskbar i could only find a lunar i couldn't find um the metallic or anything and this is the classic Windows XP look, so why not? And I've got the old classic Bliss wallpaper, as you can see. Um, so yeah, those that's pretty much how I did it. And with the with the start menu and the taskbar down here, I used a tool called Open Shell. Um, you might have heard of it. It used to be called something else um, until the developer, they stopped making it. So now it's an open source platform. Um, so Open Shell is how I got my the skin, the color, XP Luna, the theme for the start menu here. Um, that's how I got the two columns, the layout, and then getting this to look pretty much like XP. Um, I did all that through the customized start menu screen here. So I laid out what I what I wanted in it and configured it how I wanted it sort of thing. So it looks pretty XP-like. Um, and that's how I got the taskbar. So I used a custom texture here. So um, just over here high res XP icons, no it's not that, um, I think it's this one, no, <laughs> classic shell XP suite, that's it there, classic shell, um, this here, um, I changed the wallpaper so I've got a high resolution 4k one, um, which makes more sense on the screen that I'm on, and you'll see that having the bigger screen means that this menu doesn't quite fit right, I don't know how to get that to work, um, on my smaller 1080, 920, 1080 screen, it seems to be fine, and it displays perfectly. But this, I just used an enhanced version of that, a more high quality one. Um, what else have I done? So yeah, naturally all the icons have been swapped out. It's hard to find all the icons. I had to go to several different sources. But you'll see here under Windows, um, Windows XP icons, I just created a folder here. And this has got all the icons that I could possibly get. Um, but you can also get these in a um, Shell32 DLL file. This is the Windows XP Shell. Um, so you can use what I used as Icon Packager. Icon Packager. Now with Icon Packager, I could swap out a lot of the icons. Um, so Desktop, Start, um, Start Menu, Folders, Drives others all that stuff um, it doesn't do everything like I can only do so much in the control panel but I couldn't do everything and also it's really hard to find Windows XP control panel icons I don't know why I guess they're in a separate file in fact I think they are I think each control panel um, item like section has a folder a file called .cpl and I think each file has the control panel settings in it and it also has the icon 
so it's really hard to get those icons but i swapped out as much as i could and it does look pretty classic um 30 day trial so i pretty much signed up and did this as quick as i could and um so i did that the other way to do this would be i did some other things in the registry um that would be the other method so going into the registry and changing things um, that took a little bit more work for instance i had to disable the live folders so live folders would be your let's open up tools um yeah so live live folders that's like um when it shows what's in the folder before you open it sort of thing documents and and comp media whatever um but to get these classic folders you have to disable that so i went to the registry did that um and i tried to put on a windows xp font but windows 10 has a whole set of fonts like um regular bold extra bold all that xp apparently only has one font so i don't recommend changing the font i've just stuck with the windows 10 font which is fine um so i think that's more or less everything that i did i also went with doing the xp sounds too so um fully changed my startup sound and believe it or not that actually requires some registry editing as well because the windows log on and log off sounds they're not even in here until you enable them which i've now done so there's no windows user account control so i just put my own sound in there but they're all xp sounds so i don't think there's like really any <laughs> good old sound yeah there's no uh, windows 10 sounds except for some of the newer features but there are also things i don't really use <laughs> shows how good xp was kept it simple um but yeah everything here is oh sad thing is a lot of these sounds with the shutdown the startup they don't always play but anyway i've managed to do that too so anyway i thought i'd give you a video touring me touring you around with my full xp theme wasn't too difficult to do um if you're interested in this if this actually gets any views um feel free to just leave a comment and i will put links up for download um i could make some tutorial video but i mean i sort of this was trial and error and you do always if you're not smart about it there is always a risk of damaging your registry or damaging your windows installation so i figure it's worth saying you know not responsible this and that blah 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 but <laughs> do it your own risk um but i haven't had any problems and just back up your system before you do anything um, but more or less it's pretty safe all it is is icons changing the icons um disabling some windows features so i also removed the quick access there was always that 3d printing my 3d objects thing there i got rid of that um just keep it simple keep the classic sort of view um you even got this this is part of the windows theme but yeah it's pretty straightforward and i've done a lot of the work with getting everything together so if you want the files to do it let me know and yeah thanks for watching